Hey guys, today we are taking a look at the swing of Jason Duffner. So Duffner is a huge Ben Hogan fan and you can see lots of things in his swing are very much taken from kind of that Ben Hogan type era of golf swing. So one thing that he does, he does a tremendous job in this first move here for him down the line in terms of a one piece takeaway. So when we're looking at that right here, we can see that from the belly button down the golf shaft, that is an extension of that belly button. That is a classic one piece takeaway. Now, something to be aware of with what definitely does is when we see it from this front view here, okay, we can see that this wrist actually is already kind of going backwards. So almost kind of like the hands are behind the clubs. If you saw the right hand it's like it's almost kind of going under the club okay what's actually this is doing is this is something that would have been like a caddy lag drill back in the kind of 50s and stuff like this when that was to turn it away the club had lags behind the hands so in one piece here okay club face stays looking at the ball and then from there he starts to set the club but doesn't that clearly doesn't affect how he sets the club because obviously left arm parallel to the ground here 90 degrees is set between the left arm and the shaft. But when we have a look at how compact his move is, he gets the set here. When he gets to the top of the backswing, the right elbow is down. It is folded down and in front of the trouser pocket here. This is probably the most vertical elbow out of all of the tall players. Arms really in front of the body, and a very compact golf swing. I mean, have a look at it from the front view, and we can see. That's as far as it's going. It's got a full shoulder turn here, over 90 degrees, but it's a short backswing. He's not taking it a long way. What he then will do from here is from this front view, we'll see that low body will start down, left shoulder will clear from the chin. Now what this tends to do is this very much gets his arms in front of his body. So we can see here from the down the line view, we can see that the Triangular daylight in front of the arms is quite substantial right there. Club's going through the middle of the right forearm, weight's starting to track over that left side, and the arms are very much in front of the body. So then what he does is from here, he then unwinds that body around, and he's still got a slightly flexed right elbow here at impact, and also got the angle in that right wrist, which is going to allow him to really compress the ball. You can see here, right heel's near to the floor as well. So this means that he's going to be using the ground quite nicely. He's not pushing off it aggressively. And the club goes around with that body rotation all the way through to the finish. Having a look at it from the front view, we can now see how that weight starts to shift and move into the left heel. And you can see there, just hands in front in great position. And then everything is rotating around to the finish. The big bit is though, for me, is how amazing he gets that backswings that right elbow is so low down right here and it's a short backswing it's not a long one okay but it's got loads of turn so we can see that he really does get it into some top positions so have a very quick look from a different view here at the golf swing because this is quite a slow motion um, version of that swing so what we'll see is as he starts to take this towards the top of the swing right here you can just see from this angle just how low down that elbow is, okay? Yeah, but it's in front of his hip, because obviously there is the back part of his right glute, and the elbow is very much down and in front, okay? From here, he then makes it really easy, and it's super efficient for him to get his arms in front, okay? And from here now, you see how the golf club has just disappeared through the middle of the forearm here, and we've got a nice big triangle of daylight for the arms, okay? See the club's just above the top of the forearm there, and it drops in, and then everything turns. Now here's a really key bit for guys to look for you guys to look at is watch how this handle turns around. So as the handle turns around to the left, the club head can work out, and that is what will square the club. There's not been any manipulation with the hands, so it's just been the body rotation that has allowed those hands to come through. And we see how the hands are going around with the body turn and the club face is reacting to that turn, and it's only now at speed that the club head passes the hands. It's not held onto, because at this point now, the club head is fully released. So then guys, we're gonna go outside, and we're gonna take a look at a couple of things in that swing that you can work out, that you can take away to apply to your golf game. 
So then guys, the two most important things you're able to take out from Jason Duffner's swing are the fact that he is able to make a full shoulder turn and a really short compacted backswing. That is massive for everyone. I see so many people making really long back swings all the way back here, trying to get so much power out of it. You can see he is an elite PGA Tour player, not a short hitter, won a major championship, wins at big long golf courses, where accuracy is also a premium, and he is phenomenal in it, really, really straight and still getting the distance. When he won Memorial recently, he, he gained strokes on the field with his long game and lost strokes every single round on the greens, yet still won by about four or five shots. Just tell you how amazing his ball striking was. So he, he's obviously really, really good at controlling his distance and his strike. So what we'd be looking at is, one other thing, is that first move of everything coming back in one piece. Now, what he does is he gets the feeling of the body turning and the club head lagging behind the hands this way, okay? So what if you have a tendency of rolling these hands away too much, why not get something like heavy object, maybe a ball, something a bit heavier than a ball, really, but this would, wouldn't be a bad one. You put a ball behind the club head, okay? And you get the feeling of dragging that ball back in a straight line. That gets you this Duffner look in that first move. And then from there, you can set it and make sure that when you finish your shoulder turn, your arms stop moving at the exact same moment. That is the key, okay? So it's gonna be the drag away in the first move. And when you stop the arm position at the top, they stop when the shoulders stop. So if you get to 90 odd degrees, then your arm position, you know, with a kind of a 90 degree looking turn, be about here it's not going to be all, all the way back here it's keeping it short compacted you might even then have the opportunity to get that elbow a bit lower how Duffner does at the top of his backswing so guys hopefully you've got lots of things that you can take out of Jason Duffner's move right there I think that they're really going to be key to helping you get lots of consistency you can see his ball striking is phenomenal so if you can apply a few of those principles to your game you're going to be in good shape thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so and talk with you again soon